Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, I'll be answering a question I get asked a lot, which is, is Windows Defender good enough? Well, if you asked me this a couple years ago, my answer would be a definite no, as it was lacking in every single aspect. However, Microsoft has completely turned this antivirus around to the point where it competes with industry leaders when it comes to malware protection. However, there are still some areas where it's still lacking, and there are some features that don't do as well as those of paid antiviruses. So in this video, I'll be going through both the good and the bad when it comes to Windows Defender and showing you the different situations where you might want to consider getting a paid antivirus instead. Oh, and if you're interested in getting a paid antivirus, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews on antiviruses I'd normally recommend in the description and down below. Okay, so let's start this video by talking about what Windows Defender does right and then move on to where it could be better. First of all, you don't need to download Windows Defender as it comes built into your Windows 10 and 11 PCs, which is pretty neat. Second of all, when it comes to malware detection, Windows Defender has test results that rival those of industry leaders, like Norton and Total AV when it comes to device protection. If you take a look at its scores on avtest.com, you'll find that it's been labeled as a top product with a total score of 17.5 out of 18, which is actually pretty impressive for a free antivirus, since most paid antiviruses don't come near such a score. Other than that, they even went the extra mile by offering some bonus features that you'd normally find in paid antiviruses, such as web protection called a smart screen, as well as some parental control tools. Now, if you want an antivirus for the sole purpose of scanning and protecting your PC from malware, Windows Defender is more than enough. However, there are a lot of other areas where it is considered a bit lacking, and I would recommend getting a paid antivirus instead. For example, when it comes to phishing and malware site protection, the smart screen feature did not do that well, as it kept allowing some phishing sites to open during my testing. Compared to the web protection of Norton, Total AV, and McAfee, which are considered top products, Windows Defender's web protection is not performing up to standard, and I would not recommend using it. Another important feature that Windows Defender lacks is the ability to encrypt your online traffic using a VPN. Since most of what we do nowadays is exclusively online, whether it's work or entertainment, protecting your internet traffic and hiding your activity have become more important than ever. That's why almost all top antiviruses have started offering VPNs with some of their plans as they understand its importance, especially in this day and age. Windows Defender, however, does not have that option, unfortunately. Lastly, when it comes to bonus protection features, Windows Defender is pretty bare bones and does not offer that much compared to paid antiviruses. Such features features would include dark web monitoring, which looks for any of your information on the dark web and helps you take it down, a password manager, and identity theft protection. Now, I did mention that Defender offers parental controls, but it's not exactly that impressive compared to those of paid antiviruses. For example, their web filtering options are pretty basic and only work on Microsoft Edge, which no one uses nowadays and their other parental control tools would mostly navigate you to other Microsoft products like family email and family calendar. Though I have to give credit where credit is due, they do offer some neat geofencing features, and they're probably the only parental control kit that is able to monitor Xbox screen time other than Bark. Now with all that being said, is Windows Defender good enough? The answer to that would be yes and it's perfectly fine to run in solo without needing another antivirus. However, do keep in mind that it cannot protect you from everything, and you're still gonna be vulnerable to phishing attempts and any cyber criminals related to your internet traffic. And when it comes to features, you're not going to get that much as it is pretty bare bones. Ultimately, I would recommend getting a paid antivirus instead, as they offer more protection and a lot more bonus features. And if you're not sure which ones to consider, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews in the description, so make sure to check those out. However, if you decide to run Windows Defender alone, that's perfectly fine as well, though stay careful online and don't open any suspicious websites or links from unknown sources. And that's it for today's video. If you liked the content or found it useful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to see more of it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments as I love getting to interact with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.